Well, good afternoon, everybody. And it's wet. It's just started to rain here. And if you're listening in, this is Saturday, the 5th of June. And my name is Wendy Porter and I am the Latray Crafter. Hello, Jean. Welcome. You found me. If you could just confirm that you can hear me, OK, Jean, and that you can see me, that would be lovely. Uh, No response. So does that mean you can't hear me? Let me just turn my tablet on and see if I can hear myself. Yes, great. Oh, thank goodness, Jean. Thank goodness. I managed to get the sound right. Good. Excellent. Well, I'm just going to wait a minute or two and see if anybody else likes to join. Um, And as I just said, it's just started to rain here, not heavily, but um, out in the garden. I actually managed to get out and do a little bit this morning, did a little bit of weeding, so I feel a bit than now <laughs> I don't get out in the garden as much as I should so um, it was nice oh did you hear my tummy's just started to rumble right I'm going to get started oh hello just disappear right I'm going to get started because you can never tell with Facebook lives how long they're going to stay so Today, I am going to play with, I'm going to play with this stamp set, Quiet Meadow. And you can buy the stamp set and some dies as a bundle. But the the dies are not connected to the stamp set at all. They are lots and lots of wild flowers and I've I've die cut them and I will show you them in a moment. But what I'm also going to use, I'm I'm going to use some of the designer series paper, the hand penned designer series paper. But I'm going to use um, this set of dies. Now, this set of dies is a standalone set and it's called Picture This. You can find it on a page 164 of the annual catalogue. And um, it's it die cuts the circles and these rectangles. It doesn't cut out the actual um, shape of the card that they've got here. It just die cuts the holes in the card if you like all right so that's what i'm planning so let's see and um, i've got a card already and i've got some ink ready so I'm and i've got a card base here my usual card base which is five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths square and I need to make some birthday and a thinking of you card so I've got a piece of basic white and this measures four and three quarters by four and three quarters and this is a piece of mint macaron that is five and a half by five and I've deliberately cut that so I've got quite a big border all the way around and then I've got some offcuts from the designer series paper and the card. And my plan is 
I'm actually casing something from the annual catalogue. So let me just show you it. Uh, it's this one, this card in the catalogue here, which I thought was quite nice. This one here, can you see? So it's got a bit of stamping on it, and it's also got some of the die cuts on it. All right, so that's what my plan is. So I've got this, the flower, the round flower, not the sprig flower. So I'm going to stamp this. Here. And here. And then there are some lovely dots. So I'm just going to spread some dots about. is I want some of the die cuts and I'm going to use this one which is just a very simple leaflet I call it a leaflet shape and then my plan is to put that over there over there cut um, some of those uh, in the window now let me just show you what they look like. All right, so here we go. Here's one that I cut on basic white. And as you can see, I cut this out of a five inch square. So you don't need actually to um, to have it on a specific shape. You obviously need it wide enough to take the shapes. And when it die cuts, the bits that are on the, on the edge of the, sh the holes, they're dots and dashes, which is really nice. And I've just measured the approximate size of the holes that I'm left with. All right. Now, these pieces, if you're not going to use them, I thought they would make really useful sentiment shapes. So I've got one here and my plan is to put that on there. Now, my sentiments today are going to be um, from a lovely set called Inspired Thoughts, all right? And it actually comes as part of a bundle with the trees, but I just like the, the font on these sentiments. So I thought this is what I would, I would use today, all right? So I've got some on some blocks. And I'm going to start with this one that says thinking of you on your special day. So let's just stamp that one. And get this, that stamping done. Like so. can do some putting together of our card oh I need some twine now what twine shall I use my my normal linen twine I think I will or I could use white actually whoops just drop something now I'm going to use my linen twine because I do like it so let's bring some glue in blob there but that doesn't matter make sure I've got my fold on the right side there you go So this is going to just pop on here. 
just starting with a really simple card today and I don't see the others joining us so perhaps they've uh, gone off and done some other things now I want to put that on there and then I think I'm going in fact what I do I'll put that down here yeah let's put that down there that's gonna go on there and then my shape is going to go there so let's put some glue on here I'm going to keep put this on flat as well now I need to bring in my silicon mats and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some blobs of glue on here always use my silicon mat because then as you will see in a moment if I'm a bit heavy handed which sometimes is very easy to be I can use my silicon mat to just pop that down like so and that helps spread the glue and hopefully it means I won't have any coming out so that's just going to sit on there like so and I need some damn it I need some pearls or something I'm sure I've got some in my box here hmm and perhaps not let me see go to my drawer and get some pearls out Mm -hmm. some dimensional oh here we go pearls mm -hmm. oh can I open a new packet of pearls tend to do is I tend to just cut open the little slit here there we go bring in my take your pick tool and then I can take some of these off of here I'm just going to dot them about willy-nilly as the fancy takes me. In fact, I think that's enough. Three little pearls on there. And I'm going to put a... You've got a... Yeah, maybe you have, Jean. But that's absolutely fine. I'm glad to have you with me. At least I know I'm not talking to myself. If the others come along, then that's fine. never know things happen and oh I didn't do that very well right I'm trying to do a double bow here are you sitting with a cup of tea Jean or are you crafting Now I 
need some glue dots. There we go. Glue dots. And these are glue dots are on the back of the um instead of being on the roll they're on the back of the sheet which i find very awkward there we go pop a glue dot on there and then that's going to go on there and i'm just going to pop that on there like so There we go and there's our first card cool nice birthday card so let's do another one right so this time what I've done is again using the picture this dies I've die cut this but this time I've die cut it onto Ah, oh, great, you've got a cup of tea, Jean. Lovely. Um, I've die cut it onto mint macaron and I've got a piece of the lovely hand penned petals designer series paper. And my plan is just to put that on the front there, like that. And it's almost, that's almost going to be my card. This is a very, very easy card to do. Uh, just. Oh, can you hear my tummy rumbling? So let's pop that one there. Hmm. Pop that one there. Like so. Press that down. And then this is going to go on the front of my card. And what I did think was I might wrap some twine round it. Where's my twine? Oh, did you just lose me, Jean? I see what's happening here. What I thought I would do is I would put some, now let me just uh, bring my, thank you Jean, bring my silicon mat back and just rub off the bits of glue that I had on there. As you can see they just come off in little, little balls of glue. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of, um, I need it that way, so seal. Yeah, Ooh. just so that I've got something to catch my twine with. So, Where did I get this shape from? Oh, this is from the um, stitched rectangle dies. And I'm just literally going to put that across there. So very, very simple card. But you know me, I like simple things. Oh, I better put this onto the back of my card. Before it sticks where I don't want it to. So let's use some glue. Yes, it's very odd, isn't it, Jean? Very odd. Um, I keep getting the message that it's dropping, and then it, but it says it will resume shortly. 
So I'm going to plough on, right? Plough on regardless. So there we go. So there's that. Now I need to stamp my sentiment. Now one of the sentiments I've got on here, I can find the sentiments, says, sending healing thoughts your way. And I thought that was really nice as well. So let's get that out of the way. Lovely. And that's going to go across there. And I'll put it on some dimensionals because I can. Oh dear. Tummy rumbling. Hello, Catherine. Welcome. I'm good, thank you very much. How are you? How's work? I bet it's busy as always. Have you finished your year end or? But it's lovely to have you with me. And I am playing with a few bits from the new annual catalogue. There we go. There's another card. Put some. I'm gonna put some. Oh, I'm gonna put some. Some. I think I'm gonna put some sparkly on this time. Because I can. Let's get this out of the packet. Right, I've got some some jewels here. Oh, pop that down. Good. Oh, you got. Oh dear. Oh, an audit. Eek. Oh dear. That always creates a lot of work, doesn't it? An audit. Well, I, I'm sh I will keep my fingers crossed for you that it all goes well. Because you can never tell with those sorts of things, can you? There we go. There's another card. So, very, very simple card. Okay. Um, just so that Catherine knows what I'm using, let me just show you. I am using the sentiments that go with the Inspired Thoughts Bundle, which has got this tree dye on it. And I'm not into trees. It's not the right time of year to do trees. But I'm using these sentiments. And I'm using this stamp set and dye bundle. And the um, the dies do not cut out anything on the stamp. They cut out some lovely wild flowers. And I thought that was dead cool. So that's what we're doing. The colour that I'm using today is mint macaron. So here we go. Right. So here's another colour. So I've got a plain white card. This time I've got another one that I've used the rectangular cutout windows. And because I had some mint macaron shapes, what I thought I'd do is I would use the cut die cut shapes in my white card. And then that's going to go on there. And here's two of the wild f flower um, shapes that it cuts out. All right. And I have just literally die cut them. This is white. This is um, garden green. And I'm, as I, you know me, keeping them really simple. So they're going to go on there. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this to my car. Yeah, it's it's lovely. I'll show you the um it, it's a two part die set, Catherine. You get this one, which are the rectangles, 
and you also get window uh, circles for the windows let me just finish this card and then I'll show you now what I thought I'd do is I would pop the um, no am I going to pop those up on I'm going to pop that like that mm -hmm. now when I die cut these I just die cut them using the card I should have die cut some of them using a foam on the back and then I could have popped them up but I didn't think of that until after I'd done it so the plan is I'm going to have these popped up on dimensionals so I do have a little plan so use some dimensionals on these And you know me, I like a lot of dimensionals. And that's going to go in that shape. And this one's going to pop up as well. we're not using so many dimensionals on this one. Oh, one less. So this is one just going to pop in that window flat. Right. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my silicon mat again. Exactly the same as I did before. So turn these over and just pop some glue on, some blobs of glue. Unfortunately, they, there are some places where providing the glue comes out here we go um, you can just put some dots of glue on yeah it's very odd Catherine um, I'm, I'm sorry I keep dropping out and I I don't know why because I'm the only one using the internet Charles is watching the rugby, of course. No idea who's playing, but he's watching rugby. And I'm going to persevere with it. Okay. Right, so I just turn it over and then I, I can just tap that. And then I can pick them up from my my silicon mat with not so much glue on and I'm going to put that like that and it just saves having bits that will yeah I'm going to pop that like that. there we go oops so I don't get too much splurging out of the side now what I need is I need to do my sentiments now hmm, what am I going to you do my sentiment I think that's probably let me see what comes with the stamp set mm -hmm. oh thinking of you that's quite nice Let's do that. Thinking of you. I've got a sympathy card to send, so perhaps I could use this as my sympathy card. Charles is, um, elder.
died a few days ago not of covid just of very old age i think he was 102 so i want to send a card off to the family so that's going to go on there Emily. now do i want to decorate that a little bit i could do now in the stamp set we've got two little flowers there and we've got this lovely i don't think i want to use the words i've used the dots oh i might use the dots again where's the dots there they are why not use the dots oh it's gloucester v bath is it catherine all oh, right okay i expect um ken's watching it if it's gloucester is he watching jean because you came from gloucester didn't you there you go so that's gonna go on there and that's gonna go on there i'll pop that across i'd like to see a little bit of the or do i want it down there mm. Do I want it down there or do I want it across there? I think I'm going to put it over the bottom of the da, da, da. Let's put, put, pop it up on dimensionals anyway. Yes, very good age. And he was um, he was a lovely, lovely chap. Um, he was Charles's mother's brother i think if i think that's right and he was married to a lady called ivy and they were the typical cartoon married couple oh hello hazel welcome um they were the typical married couple he was very tiny and she was very big and but they were so they were so so lovely they really were a lovely couple and they used to ride around in a, si mo a motorcycle and sidecar and she had great difficulty getting in and out of the sidecar because she was quite big and um there were great stories the family used to tell of um ivy trying to direct alf where to go from the sidecar and they used to have um used to end up in most peculiar places he was one of the people who um he lived they lived near Iver Iver in uh, buckinghamshire and i don't know if you know that neck of the woods but it's not far from heathrow and he always used to say that he could never get lost as long as he followed the aeroplanes Oh, you've just finished work, have you, Hazel? Oh, well, you're very, very welcome. And I want another. Um, so he used to follow the aeroplanes a lot and see where the aeroplanes took him, <laughs> which I think was hilarious. So there we go. There's another card done. Very, very simple card, that one. I might have embossed that if I'd have thought about it earlier but another nice little card so we're we're on card number four now hazel but i will show you you them at the end oh now i was going to show you these dies where were the dies right so they're called picture this dies and they're a standalone set of dies they don't have any stamp set that goes with them and there's two in the pack so you get this one right and as you can see there's a stitched edge either side of the cutting line all right and as i say you don't cut you don't it doesn't cut out a sh the outside shape it just cuts the circles which if i'm going to do my size of cards is great and then the second one is this one which are three rectangles which you've seen on a couple of the cards i've already used 
and the stitching on the either side of the cut shape has got um, little dots so it's dash and a dot all the way around all right um so that's that's quite nice quite nice quite nice so the next card let's see what the next this card is oh i don't want to do another one i want to find one that's got circles on it i did do one with circles i'm sure hey look here's one that's got the circles on it okay so what i've done is i've die cut the circles now can you see the circles have got this quite big stitched uh i don't know what you want to call it impression that's the word i'm looking for around it so i just pop sort of lined it up sort of in the middle of my oops and i've just dropped a flower so what i've done is this is the hand penned paper all right and it's a piece from the same sheet as I used earlier, but I'm using the other side, which I think is very, very pretty. Very pretty. So I'm going to glue this to this. I don't think there's any right way or wrong way for that pattern so I'm just literally going to and this um, mint macaron piece I've actually cut it at five and a half by five and a half um, and then the piece of designer series paper I cut it just under five and a half by five and a half all right so because I, I didn't want any just showing on the other side and then that's going to go on there and before i do that what i've already done is i've stamped some of the lovely flowers from the stamp set so i've got this one here which looks to me a bit like an anemone i mean i'm not a florally person but that looks like an anemone so i just stamp them in mint macaron and then i've just fussy cut them and the idea is that this is going to just go over here like so and then my sentiment is going to go across here like so so let me glue this to my my card And um, these um, die cut dies, you can use them on your normal C6 size mats. Um, I'll just get a ruler out and I'll measure the width. So the width from that one to that one is four and a quarter. Now I've have I got them on? I've got them probably yeah. And from that one to that one so that's that would fit onto a four and a quarter by four and a quarter um, but as you saw i've kind of cut mine on the diagonal like that but you could easily put them onto if i bring in a normal sheet of this would be one of my normal mats that i would use on a c6 card and you see that would fit on there beautifully so if you were just going to do a normal um a6 card you can just use a mat and die cut that nicely and similarly with the rectangular pieces that will fit onto a mat for an a6 card nicely all right did i glue that yeah i did okay so now what am i gonna do oh look i didn't put me i didn't put it on quite the right right way around never mind 
let's pop a bit of glue down there so that's gonna go there that's gonna go there there and I'm going to pop this one up on some dimensionals. Now, what sentiment should I use? Uh -huh. I'm going to use thinking of you again. I think thinking of you just covers so many different. Different occasions, doesn't it? go thinking of you it's gonna go on there let's pop that on some keep that one quite flat And I'm going to use some dimensionals. Now, what did you do with me dimensionals, girls? Where have they gone? Where have they gone? I'm hoping you're still watching and that I haven't lost you completely. spoke too soon it dropped again then but I hope you're still with me girls I'm gonna just carry on because it has come back again and this time I'm going to add some lovely ribbon to it and what ribbon shall I use Uh -huh. Now, am I using ribbon or am I going to use? <laughs> now that's just typical, isn't it? My ribbon that I want is downstairs. So I will use the twine because you know I like twine. But I don't know what I've done with it. Oh, there he goes. Put it in the bin. Yeah, you're right. Hazel, you hit the nail on the head. It's raining. And when it rains, the system goes down. Oh, but I'm glad, so glad you're still here. Good. I don't, I, the thought of talking to myself. I mean, I do do it, talk to myself a lot. <laughs> Okay, right, so uh -huh. now those of you that don't know, I have started stamp and sip face to face again. Yay! And uh, I'm very pleased to say that everybody is coming out. We we're obviously keeping this down to five plus me um and um so far the classes have been really lovely really lovely it's been lovely to see everybody and catch up on everything that they've they've either been doing or they've been missing doing because a lot of them all got you've all got family and things i know so it's just nice to be able to to get out and see a few people, isn't it? Right, 
let's pop that on there. And then this I am going to put just underneath there like so. Oh, there we go. Oh, good. I'm glad I'm not the only one, Hazel. Isn't there a saying that sometimes you talk to yourself and you get more sense if you talk to yourself? I, I, I remember somebody saying to myself, talking to yourself is one of the signs of madness. You know? Second one is, good Jean, you're still there. I'm pleased to hear it. Um, second second one is um, looking for hairs on the back of your hand. Have you heard that one? There we go. Another card done. Yay! Cool. What do you think of that one then, girls? Pretty. Very pretty. So, let's now now right so that is so true <laughs> is ken watching the rugby gene or is he out fiddling in the garage now what i what i planned for today is to show you one or maybe two of our card kits now those of you that don't know um stamping up have introduced a new product line and it's called the kit collection so i'm just going to, i'm just tidying up a little bit just so that i can get rid of the stamps that i used right we might come back and see how the time goes but what i thought i would do is i would show you a couple of the kits that i've already got and um, the kits, the idea of the kits is that they are to something that you can introduce new crafters to, right? And you can also have your have yourself if you wanted to. <laughs> That's it, Hazel. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You you you're right, Hazel. Second one is is uh, answering yourself yeah i do that too i do all of those things right so anyway the kits are designed to be everything that you need in a box all right so if you're a brand new crafter and you have absolutely no craft supplies at all then you whatever you get in your box will give you everything that you need all right and there are going to be two types of ki of kits. Now, the kits are only available online. So you will have to go onto my online store to have a look at them. All right. So let me show you this. This is the box that they come in. Look, lovely, lovely box. And I think they would make lovely pro gifts to send to somebody. Actually, if you knew a crafter and you didn't know what to get them, this would be the perfect gift, I think. So this kit costs £11.25 and it's a non-stamping kit. All right. Now, in the box, you get everything you need to make nine cards and you get a set of instructions and these are the three cards that this kit will make up and i just want to show you what it means by a non-stamping kit all right so as well as the instructions you're going to get a little pack of goodies so let me just get them out of here and i will show them to you so you get some embellishments and these are kind of like um, faceted gems. That's the word I'm looking for. You're going to get some card bases. You're going to get some dimensionals. And these ones are mini dimensionals and you're going to get some glue dots. All right. These are glue dots. Right. 
Now this kit, and you're going to get envelopes. So let me show you what you will get. So this kit comes with three card bases like this. And then you're going to get three white ones. And then your third card is a die cut and printed shape. This lovely butterfly. All right. You will get three, uh, three sets of envelopes. And as you can see, they're printed on the inside as well. And these ones have got this lovely scalloped edge to them. So that's those. And then you get another one, which is this lovely rainbow colour. You get some die cut shapes. All right. And this is obviously a butterfly themed kit. Okay, so you get those. And then you get some die cut, uh, some printed, pre-printed sentiments. Now the sentiments you actually get in different languages. You will get English, French, German and Dutch. I'm going to show that one in a minute, Hazel. All right. Um, so if you've got friends abroad, just think how surprised they would be if you would, if they were to get a card in a foreign language from you. All right. So as you can see, there are some missing because I've already made up a set of the cards. So, so you get, and you get some more sentiments, look, different colours. So you get quite a lot in the pack. And there's some more. And you also get these lovely die cut, very, very filigree ones. Okay. And this is rainbow colours as well. So, now what I thought I'd do is... I would just make up one of the cards. So I'm going to make up one this lovely butterfly. So and they all come pre-scored. All right. So all you need to do is to just fold it flat. All right. Okay. So then the the instructions inside are pictorial. So there's no words. It just says this is what you need to do. All right. These are the pieces you need to make this card. And as you can see here, it even tells you how many dimensionals you need to put on your sentiment and how many embellishments you can put on to decorate your card as well. So let's just make this little butterfly one up. All right. So I need the pink sentiment, which says you make life brighter. You just pop them out. And I think these would be good for somebody who likes, when they go away on holiday, like me, likes to take some crafty stuff with them. Um, I just get withdrawal symptoms. And I'm looking for the dimensional. What did I do with the dimensional? everything back in the box and now I can't get it back out again. Let me get it back out. Do. There we go. There's your dimensionals. Right. So it says I need four dimensionals to make this card. One, two, three, four. And it says to not put them at the edge. Leave the edge empty. And that's because it's going to, it's big enough to go over the edge of your card. So I'm going to put one in the middle and I've, I've just got this on here just so that it reminds me how far I can go. So bring in some of the little sparkly jewels if I can find where I put them. 
da da do with them. What did I do with the sparkly bits? Lost me sparkly bits, girls. Don't know what I've done with them. Well, I, 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 when I find them, I will decorate the the um, the butterfly. All right. And I've actually already done a set of everything that comes in the kit. So let me just show you the the finished ones. Oh, where's my sparkly ones? Okay. Sparkle. what I'm going to do is now because I don't have any nails I'm going to use my take your pick tool but you could easily just pull them off with your nails if you didn't have a, a take your pick or a pokey tool you just pull them off with your fingernail let me see if I can do it there we go ah, not bad pretty there we go Oh, see that's why I don't you don't do it with me nails. Got it upside down now. There we go. There we go. So you get everything that you need to make your card, and I've got a, I've got a little jewel stuck on me thumb. So I'm going to take that off of there and put that on my card. Don't want it to get a waste. That's going to go in there. Right, so there's one of the cards, and how pretty is that? Gorgeous. So let me just show you the three when they're made up. All right, so there's one, and I decided the green envelopes would be better. And there's the the second one. Look, that where I've just added on the die cut shape that fits into that envelope beautifully. And then there's this one that's got the filigree one on it. All right. So three lovely cards and you will be able to make three of each. OK. Um, and you will be left over, I am sure, with some bits. Um, there will certainly be the foreign language sentiments. And if you if you didn't want the foreign language sentiments, then you could always use the the reverse side for stamping sentiments on. Um, and you can cut them down or do whatever, really. Um, I don't know. I, I, in fact, I do know a girl in France. I could send her one. So so they're not going to be wasted anything in this kit. All right. And I think for eleven pounds twenty five. I don't think that's bad. So if you know anybody or if you'd like to try that kit, um, that is called the, what is it called? It is called the Notes of Cheer card kit. All right. And it makes nine cards, three of each of those designs. So, so that's that one. Now what I want to show you is a stamping kit and again it comes in a box now this box because it's got more in it it does weigh a little bit more this would actually come with a plastic wrap on it and I will show you why so I've obviously opened this um, you get an in instruction sheet you will get a stamp set and this is the one that Hazel you said you're going to you're going to get this is called sentimental rose now this stamp set photopolymer and the sentiments on it best wishes happy mother's day for you thank you congratulations happy birthday and thinking of you so that covers a heck of a lot of set of um occasions don't you think and you've got a nice little leaf here all right you will get a stamping spot and this one is gray granite so with every stamping 
kit you will get a stamp set photopolymer stamp set plus at least one stamping spot okay there is one coming up where i believe you were going to get you we're going to get two stamping spots all right so again you're going to get your card bases and as you can see i've sort of fiddled with this so the card base and the card base co uh, uh, measure three and a half by five so there are notelet size cards all right so this one's got printing uh printing on it it looks like it's from a a floristry book or something and then you get die cut um, a die cut shape that's got some lovely watercolor wash on it and this is lovely this is a uh comes from the sheet and it's corrugated so that's going to go on there so that's that one all right then another card you'll get has got this lovely yellowy i think this is pale papaya one of the new in colors in it all right and again this has got the wash on it and a um, a die cut shape all right and then the third one has got this gray sort of faux corrugated look to it and this one has got three flowers printed on it and some dots and then a bigger corrugated shape now in the pack you also get you also get some lovely envelopes so you get three of that style let me see if i can dig out the envelopes mm -hmm. you get three with um a yellowy inside and this one is a pale greeny color all right so you can choose whichever ones you like all right and then you also get this oh i didn't tell you you get a stamping block so if you haven't got anything you've actually got a stamping block to use now this isn't one of our normal ergonomic ones um, but if you haven't got anything it's better than nothing at all isn't it all right and now this set this um, kit you actually get a gift box all right and this will fold up and it will take all of the cards so you could gift this to somebody as completed cards all right and this is a wrap that goes around the outside of the box and then you decorate the outside of the box with a die cut shape if i can get my fingers around here so it's got a little a rose it goes on to decorate the front of your box and let's just have a look at the now i don't yes so that's card number one Oh, and you get some twine in this one and you get some lovely embellishments look there's the embellishments aren't they nice so you get glue dots dimensionals twine oh and you get some lovely little die cut shapes for your sentiments that you can stamp into all right now i've left them onto the um the sheet because I find it easier to stamp straight onto whilst they're attached to the sheet but you can take them off easily all right so it comes with everything you need to make three of those three of those three of those cards and then this is the box that you can make and, and send to somebody and this box um, has actually got film on it you probably can't see it you might be able to um, at the moment it doesn't look very shiny but it is a nice shiny plastic it just is got a protective sh um, sheet on it at the moment which i don't want to take off because i don't want it to get worn all right and i thought i would make up one of these cards okay so let's see which one shall i do what one shall i do i'm going to do this one so this is the one here so what now this one is a mother's day card now i don't want to do a mother's day card 
So I'm going to use one of the other sentiments. But what I need is, I need, I need my coloured piece of card. Is that that one? I think it is. I need a little flag that I've already pushed out. And I'm going to need my rose. And the block is big enough to take the rose. All right. Now, because this is a stamp that I have not used before, what we need to do is we just need to rub it over the back of our hand just to make sure that there is no plastic stuffs. Because sometimes when they go through the the manufacturing process they're left with a kind of a sticky residue on it so i just rub it on the back of my hand and then i'll give it a clean with my chamois oh you're gonna get the big stamping kind of boss yay well done hazel yay and you'll if you'll need your big stamping cut and emboss to die cut the um the rectangle and the and the circle dies that i i used for my cards earlier all right they won't fit in the mini machine so what am i going to use for my sentiment uh, let me see now what's the the one that they want me to use is that one there which is this green one so does happy birthday fit on there it does yay Okay, now because I've got lots of blocks, I'm going to bring in another block just because I can, right? Now you wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily need another block because once you've finished with one block, you would just take your rows off or your whichever one you do first, and then you would. use the block again all right so i am going to now i need to do this i need to mm -mm 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 -mm. just run something along the edge okay and this is did i say this is gray granite now i don't have any grip whatsoever and can i get this off yes i do right okay so Grey granite. Uh -huh. I'm going to do the happy birthday first. So just like you do when you're doing normal stamping, just tap, tap, tap all over with the little stamping spots. Right. And then I'm going to do that. And I'm trying to look through here without... I've got the camera right in front of me, so I'm hoping I'm going to get that in. There we go. Oh, it's a bit spotty, but that's okay. Let me try that again. Oh, ooh. I'm not worried about that. It gives it a vintagey look. Right, so I've got my sentiment ready. Okay. Now I need to clean my stamp. All right. Now I'm going to just give that another clean. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this all over. Oh, I know what, what I need to do is, because this is a photopolymer stamp, oh, I'm going to try and tear this off of here. There we go. Um, because this is a photopolymer stamp, you're always better off having something underneath the card that you're stamping. Ah, right, yes. 
yeah you do need the big one and especially if you're going to use some of the embossing folders um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to bring in I'm going to bring in one of our stamping mats all right and I'm going to now what does it say on the instructions so you see the card there has that on it let's find it there we go card number one Look, it says to you apply the ink to your images and then we're going to stamp the image and the leaves so i want to just try this first Ooh. and that's obviously still got some plastic residue on there so let me just have another little go a bit better so tap 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 all over now grey granite's not a colour that I would use I don't so in fact what I might do I might stamp it off just so it's not quite so dark let's see stamp stamp hmm no I'll do it the way they say, which is to do it with full strength ink. Right. Now. Oh, oh, oh. So this one is. So I'm going to stamp this here with the. You see the picture shows it sort of off the page a bit. So I'm going to stamp that like so off the page. Alright. Cool. And then I'm going to clean that. So I now need to use the leaf. Where's the stamp set? Alright, so let me bring it. So you just pretend that I'm just using the same block, right? So let's just rub that over there and give that a clean. Now, I need to put the leaves, the leaves. All right, so there's one at the top there and then there's a part one down the bottom here. So I'm going to let's try it first. Tap, tap, tap all over. Okay, that's cool. So that one's going to go like so. as a part one down the bottom but I think I'm gonna put one here I'm gonna go off piece just because you can I'm gonna go here I might go in there I might go here let's go here cool all right so there we go now now what I've got to do is I've got to Oh, in fact, they've used thank you on the directions, but that's all right. They have got... Right, so the next thing to do is to attach the little banner, the die-cut banner, onto the front of my card. And that needs to go across there, like so. 
and then that goes on there. Now where have they put... Right, now, what they've done is they have actually put some twine on the card as well. Okay. So what they've done is they've wrapped the twine round the card. But I think what I'm going to do, because I'm going to wrap the twine round this piece. So even though these are kits for beginners, yeah, there is no reason to think that as a crafter, you can't do your own thing with them, right? Let's pop, pop that there so that I've got somewhere to attach my twine to. But for a new crafter, they're going to be really good because it will give them the instructions and they will end up with something lovely. So I'm going to put that's that way so let's wrap this wrap this round here okay. oh they don't have anything to cut twine with so you're going to have to use scissors girls you're going to need a pair of scissors now I, where's my scissors gone uh -huh, uh -huh. okay good right so their twine was on a different side but that's fine and then you pop that on there with some dimensionals I think oh, oh, oh. I've done all my stamping so I don't need my mat anymore so let's see what it says so it says glue that with glue dots and of course if you've got proper glue you could you could use glue proper glue and actually if you were going away on holiday and you thought I want to take some crafty stuff with me there is room in the box to throw in a few extras like a take your pick tool a pair of scissors Shammy, even some different coloured ink if you wanted to. So you could, you could definitely use this as a a craft kit to go. Right, making sure I've got the writing up the right way on my. So that's going to go on there right now. Now, if you've got sharp nails, you could probably lift the backs of these off with your nails. But I don't have nails. Come away. I've got them all on my take your pick tool. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this on here like so. Okay, then what I'm going to do, I am going to pop that on there with some dimensionals. And I get another sheet of dimensionals, and this time the dimensionals are larger, so you get bigger ones. So come the, if you were, say, to buy both of these projects, both of these kits, you would end up with dimensionals in both sizes, I just realised that. And this card kit and all of the card kits that are stamp, a stamping type one, um, they cost £18. And again, they are available from my online shop. And the plan is that there will be 10 kits available at all times. They will change as the kits um, 
because they're all while supplies last. So as the kit's supplies get used up, new ones will be added. All right. So if you like these kits, then my suggestion would be pop to my online store and get them now and have them delivered and <coughs> and I'm actually thinking I might do a little class using the kits I've got a couple more coming that I ordered um day before yesterday so there's one card isn't that pretty now I can put some blingy bits on. Let me see, what did the final picture look like? All right, so the final picture has got, you can see, our mine's the other way around to theirs. It's using some of the green dots. They've actually put a bow on. Shall I put a bow on? Let's do a bow. No sharp nails or false ones now. <laughs> Uh, no, I've never had long nails. I used to chew them as a youngster, but I don't chew them anymore. But I just never let them go very long. So here we go. It's a bow. A bunny ears bow. I'm going to leave the end nice and long. And I'm going to put that down there, I think, or up there. I think I'm just going to pop that on there. So I need a glue dot. Where's the glue dot gone? Right, now, this will be testing. Can I get the back of the glue dot and put it onto that bow? This is definitely a tongue-out job. And I've got the glue dot on with some... Right, good. Okay. <laughs> bit fiddly but I managed it and I'm just going to pop that I'm just going to pop that there like so and then I'm going to pop a couple of the of the lovely green greeny embellishments where's the embellishments from I had them out didn't I I'm sure I had them out. Where are they? Oh, where they are. Why didn't you say they were in front of me? Duh. Were you all shouting? I love the new in colours, they're gorgeous. So I am going to, where do they put them? Oh, I'm going to just pop them where I like. Oh, gosh, they're, gosh, they're stuck down. So let's use the pokey tool bit. Oh, right, I'm going to pop one there. Pop another one. Pop one there there and then a big one down the bottom here right there there we go so there you go so there's a sample of a stamping kit all right so as i say the stamping kits are 18 pounds and in the stamping kit um, you will get everything that you need to make nine cards and as an extra you will get a stamp set which obviously you can keep and use for various things afterwards and i think this is a particularly nice rose i think this is lovely and if you've got if you like coloring you can always color it in as well and if you've got other inks use other inks um so there we go so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to tidy this up all right and what i'll do is i will do a blog post and i will put a link to my online store and if you pop over there you will see there's a running banner that says kit collection and you can see everything that's available 
and if any of these have sold out um, there will be replacements because they, they will have brought out something else I'm sure all right so now let me just cl clear this grid paper and what I'll do is I will show you the cards that I've made today all right so here are the cards that I made using the lovely picture this and the quiet meadow stamp set and dies all right then i we made or i made one of the butterfly cards from the notes of cheer set and then from the where did i put my card oh, from the uh, sentimental rose kit I made that one so three I think lovely cards oh hello Sue welcome how long have you been there I've been showing off two of the kits this afternoon and um, and I've also made some cards using the lovely picture this oh well, I've just found another card that I made cards so four cards and two from the kit collection and I used for my cards I used oops I used the lovely picture this dies so the rectangles and the circles and I also used the quiet meadow bundle so you get this stamp set plus you get plus you get the die cuts these lovely wild flower wild flower die cuts all right and that's where these lovely shapes come from all right so oh i'm i'm sorry you've only just joined sue because i'm i've about finished but if you've got any questions if you want to um if you can go back and watch from the start um you'll be able to see everything that i've made and everything that i've used um and I, i'm always here if you've got any questions so thank you all very much girls for watching i will do a blog post um and um i will list everything that i've used today okay so i hope you all have a lovely weekend oh and it is mystery stamping on wednesday so 11 30 on wednesday will be mystery stamping and hopefully either tomorrow or monday i will post the first set of clues for mystery stamping i.e the supplies that you will need all right Thank you, Catherine. I'm so pleased that you, you could stick with us till the end. I'm sorry it kept dropping out. Um, but I hope I see some of you again soon. All right. So take care. Bye.